Hi, um, my name is Lynn and I'm excited to be with you here today. A little nervous too because I haven't made a video before. But what I wanted to share with you is what I call a photo clutch. And I call this a photo clutch because it reminds me a bit of a clutch purse. But it's a great inexpensive uh, alternative to that white envelope that you share photos with usually with someone's name on. As you can see, as we open it up, there are places where you could fit 10 photos and we've just got flaps that go back and forth here giving you more places again to put your photos in to share with someone. Um, you can add as much bling uh, or embellishments as you'd like um, but really all you need to make this is three uh, 12 by 12 double sided uh, papers, some adhesive and a pair of scissors. So uh, let's get started. Um, I'm going to be using a K and Company uh, coordinating papers, which also have uh, with them some die cut um, embellishments, and I'm also going to be using the coordinating stickers. So I've gone through and, and chosen my three sheets of, again, double sided paper. So out of that, you'll want to choose one to uh, be the cover. And we're going to just make a few cut here. The first one here that's going to be our cover, we need to leave the 12 inches in length and cut this then to about nine and a half. So we've got nine and a half by 12. We've got some scraps that we'll end up with, so save these if you want. You can use some punches or some stamps if you have them to maybe make some further embellishments. The next two sheets of paper uh, we're going to cut uh, four and a half inch, uh, leaving that again by 12 strips out of here. So we've got one strip here, a second strip from this paper, and then again on the third sheet we're going to do the same. So just at four and a half. So then these are the pages we're going to uh, be using to put our book together. Now if you have a scoreboard, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and pull mine out here. We're just going to make a few scores. If not, uh, the old fashioned way of folding paper is great. On our cover, you'll want to make sure you pay attention a little bit to the pattern as to whether you want your pattern going up and down. As you can see here, I'm going to be folding this part up and this down. So uh, the first score that we want to make then is at four and a half. The second score will be at nine and a half. And the third score then at about nine and three quarters. Um, as long as I got my scoreboard out here, um, just one set of these papers I'm going to do a quick score on. Uh, just one side at uh, three inches. I do this because when I have the measured folds, it helps me assemble my book a little bit better. So, let's get started. Here we've got our cover. We're just going to fold along our scores. So you can see here, this is folding up to make the, the body of our photo album. Go ahead and fold along the other two lines. Uh, the reason we've got this uh, quarter inch here is to give a little depth to the album. So when you put it all together, it'll lay flat and close. So you can see here, our album is really shaping up really pretty quickly. Um, what I do often is I take a pair of decorative edge scissors and on this one I'm just going to go ahead and make a little curve cut here. Um, you can use your decorative edge scissors. Maybe you want this square. You might want to cut along the edges, but I've just done that. I am a big inker, so often I'll take my uh, ink pad and uh, ink around the edges to distress that a little bit. And then from the embellishment package, I'm just going to go ahead and pull out an embellishment. This one looks nice on here. So I'm going to just put a little glue along the back about halfway down. And again, you might want to ink the edges. Put that down here, and as you can see, 
we've got the cover all set for our photo album. So next we'll go ahead and start assembling. So I'm taking the two pieces that I've done the scoring on of about the three inches. So again, fold them along the scores. Um, and we're going to be gluing these into our book right here. So I'm just going to take my glue stick, you can use any type of adhesive, and put some glue on this edge. And then just go ahead and line up this four and a half inch strip along the inners of our album about a quarter inch from the edge. Now, um, you can either uh, leave these flat along the edge. You can use decorative scissors to maybe cut a curve. Uh, you can cut them before you put them in if you find that easier. So this is the second sheet that I've cut. And I'm also just going to go ahead and put my glue along here so we can put this in along the other side. So same thing. Uh, center that along there and about a quarter inch from the edge. So you can see we've kind of got our beginning of our flaps going. The last pages, um, sometimes if I've curved these, maybe I'll just use this uh, to make it a little different and use my decorative scissors to cut a straight edge. Do it on each one. And I usually don't fold these till I put them in the book because I find that a little bit easier to line up. So what we're going to do is take our glue stick and this time we're going to glue this whole inner section here. Because we're going to match these pages up here along the center. So again, lining them up the best you can we're just going to glue these pages right in through here. And now I'll fold this over about that quarter inch from the edge. Fold this one in. And as you can see right here we've got our photo album before we do any uh, embellishment. Um, as I said, I do like to use the coordinating papers that have coordinating stickers and so forth to go along. I'm just going to pull out some stickers here. Often what I like to do is use some of the stickers to make some tabs um, as little page folders. So I'm going to choose two that are the same width just line them up here and as you can see now we've just got a little tab. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful uh, embellishments in here and so feel free to just go along and add them as page turners or uh, using some of the beautiful butterflies to just go ahead and stick in and embellish. So I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, as you can see, I've made a, a number of these books. They're fun, they're quick, they're inexpensive, and it's a great way to share 10 photos with some family and friends. Enjoy your day.